it's been so hot out here recently. Well, like it, it's always hot this during this time of year in California. During the summer where I live, it's like 100 degrees straight for weeks at a time. And I've been riding my bike to work and I just like really I came to a revelation and wanted to share it with you. I was spending the whole day this morning inside with the air conditioning in this one room that we have just one room air conditioned. And it was really nice, you know, relaxing, hanging out all morning. I come outside to take my ride to work and it was like you know, I went outside a couple times to let the dogs out, but this time I was coming outside knowing I was going to have to ride my bike to work, and I couldn't breathe. The heat was so thick, the air was just so hot, and I like, I couldn't breathe. It was, I was dreading it, you know, but this, I've been doing this for a couple weeks now riding my bike, and I knew that by the time I was at work it wouldn't be a big deal, and I was right. So when I first left too, because it's darker in the house. I was all squinting, it was like super hot, and then by the time I got here, like I'm just real close to work right now. I'm sitting in the shade and it feels so good outside. It's so nice, you know? And it's because I got outside, I dealt with the brutal heat, and then I went in the shade again. Like I went in, I was in the shade at first after being in the air conditioning and it was really hot. I dealt with the brutal heat, I got really hot, I got in the shade again, and now the breeze feels really good and I just really am enjoying it. I can open my eyes all the way, like I'm not squinting anymore. And it's really important to live in your environment, to be one with nature and to be you want to be aligned with the universe. That's like where better health comes from. That's where just a better life. When you're in alignment, when in alignment with the universe, you'll be on in flow and everything will seem to work out for you. And you'll just feel better health-wise. Your body will function properly. It's really good, you know, to get sweaty, especially if you're living in the heat. It's good to feel like that. And it can the same can be said for the cold weather even though I so don't like the cold weather. It's better to have like a little bit of heat on in your house and have a sweater on instead of having it pumping with heat and having like a tank top and shorts on during the cold weather. You want to live in your environment and be as close to it as you can. You know, obviously if it's absolutely freezing out or whatever, you know, keep keep the heat on a little bit, but don't try to change your environment so much because it'll throw your body out of whack. And it, you know, up here mentally you know what's going on, but your system, your body doesn't really understand. And it puts a lot of effort into changing temperatures too. Actually, I read one time about like the longest lived cultures and one of the places, or not, maybe it was like the healthiest places to live that I was looking up. And in Vil Vilcabamba, Ecuador, they say people live really, really long, probably for a whole bunch of reasons. But in this one article I was re reading, it mentioned how the weather is always just so perfect and people don't have to exert a lot of energy to change temperatures and deal with the, the with the drastic change of temperatures or too hot or too cold of a temperature. So it's good to not have to get be really really warm and then really really cold to just change slightly because you're already sort of living in the environment. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.